Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast day of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. In this Eucharistic celebration, as a memorial instituted by Christ to remember and to be present in His salvation on the cross, we also remember the loving mercy of Jesus through the wearing of the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. And so, to prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. May the venerable intercession of the glorious Virgin Mary come to our aid, we pray, O Lord, so that, fortified by her protection, 
we may reach the mountain which is Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Exodus. Although Moses and Aaron performed various wonders in Pharaoh's presence, the Lord made Pharaoh obstinate, and he would not let the children of Israel leave his land. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel, On the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. If a family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring one and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats. You shall keep it until the 14th day of this month and then with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and the lintel of every hope in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. It shall not be eaten raw or boiled, but roasted whole, with its head and shanks and inner organs. None of it must be kept beyond the next morning. Whatever is left over in the morning shall be burned up. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt, sandals on your feet, and your staff in hand, you shall eat it like those who are in flight. It is the Passover of the Lord. For on this same night I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt, I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you, which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as our perpetual institution. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. How shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of His faithful ones. I am your servant, the son of your handmaid. You have loosed my bonds. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. To you will I offer sacrifice of thanksgiving, and I will call upon the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will pay in the presence of all his people. I will take the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. Please stand. Hallelujah, we can mo o nakikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Hallelujah.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus was going through a field of grain on the Sabbath. His disciples were hungry and began to pick the heads of grain and eat them. When the Pharisees saw this, they said to him, See, your disciples are doing what is unlawful to do on the Sabbath. He said to them, Have you not read what David did when he and his companions were hungry, how he went into the house of God and ate the bread of offering, which neither he nor his companions, but only the priests, could lawfully eat? Or have you not read in the law that on the Sabbath, the priests serving in the temple violate the Sabbath and are innocent? I say to you, something greater than the temple is here. If you knew what this meant, I desire mercy, not sacrifice, you would not have condemned these innocent men. For the Son of Man is Lord of the Sabbath. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. In our first reading today, as we continue our readings in the life of Moses from the book of Exodus, Today we have reached the moment of the Passover of how God saved the people of Israel from slavery in Egypt. But let me point out a very important aspect in our first reading today. Before God performed the great work of salvation of the people of Israel, he first instructed them how they are going to remember, to memorialize the great event of the Passover. Bago iniligtas ng Panginoon ang mga Israelita sa Ehipto, Binigyan muna sila ng instruction. Ano ba ang gagawin ninyo taon-taon para maalala ninyo itong aking gagawin na pagliligtas sa inyo? And so, in our first reading today, God gave specific instructions how they are going to memorialize the Passover. On the first month of the year, on the tenth day until the fourteenth day, you will slaughter a lamb, you will roast it, you will eat it together. And every year, he said, this will be a memorial feast for you. Hanggang ngayon po ay ginagawa ito ng mga Hudyo sa Israel. Every year, this is the memorial of the Passover. My dear brothers and sisters, this is important to us because God enters into our life. God enters into our memory. And we do not just remember the past every year, every moment we remember that God has been present to all of us until now. And so it is very important for us always to remember God's goodness, to remember the memories that we have about God, so that every time that we see that memorial, we remember that God is present. That is why in our gospel reading today, 
Jesus also was trying to speak to the Pharisees about memory. When they were criticizing the disciples of Jesus, Jesus told them, Have you not read? Do you not remember the teachings of God about feeding, about mercy, about desiring mercy, not just sacrifice? Jesus was asking them to remember the teachings of God, the goodness of God. Kaya nga po siguro, tayo bilang mga tao ay napakahalaga po ng alaala, pag-alala natin. Halimbawa, kapag tayo ay mayroong pinagdiriwang na birthday o anibersaryo, ano po ba yung ginagawa natin? No? Nagpapamisa tayo. Ito ay isang napakagandang pag-aalaala na binigyan ako ng Diyos ng buhay at ito ay ipinagpapasalamat ko sapagkat hanggang ngayon alam kong kapiling ko ang Diyos. Kapag mayroong nangyari sa buhay natin, halimbawa, nagkaroon ng sakit at pinagaling ng Diyos, some people would give a memorial to God. Maybe they would buy a religious image. Maybe this would remind them of the goodness of God to them. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, today, God reminds us that to remember the actions of God is very important in our life. Every Mass that we celebrate is a memorial of God's goodness to all of us. Tuwing tayo po ay nagsisimba, nagdiriwang ng misa, sinasabi ni Jesus sa atin, This is my body, this is my blood, do this in memory of me. Today also, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. Later on, we will be imposing on you, giving you Our Lady's scapular. And whenever you wear that scapular, Mary reminds us that she is praying for us even to the point of death, she will be praying for you. Kapag suot-suot po natin yung skapularyo ng Our Lady of Mount Carmel, pinapaalala sa atin ang pagmamahal ng ating mahal na ina na pinagdarasal niya tayo hanggang sa ating kamatayan at the hour of our death, Mary is praying for us and interceding for us. My dear brothers and sisters, what do we remember about God? What goodness do we remember about the saving action of God? In every Mass, we remember God's goodness. And today in this feast day, Our Lady gives us the scapular so that we could remember the goodness of her son, Jesus, and also the protection of her, our intercessor. In this Mass, let this become truly a memorial of God's goodness and God's saving action. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray to God the Father as we honor Mary, our Lady of Mount Carmel. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may share Mary's faith with the world and follow God's will with joy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. 
that the Holy Spirit may overshadow the church, filling it with obedience and faith and fruitfulness in good works. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That as Mary's body became the dwelling place of the Word, we may honor our own bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may devote our lives to the study and contemplation of God's Word. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may find in Mary a true refuge. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, send the Holy Spirit upon us so that we may hear your word in faith and fulfill it in our lives. Give us hearts that are joyful and obedient to your holy will. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your Son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age. When you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid, you gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is Yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, 
peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. We shall now have the blessing of scapulars. Let us pray. O Lord Jesus Christ, Savior of the human race, with your right hand, Sanctify these scapulars, which your servants are to wear devoutly, out of love for you and your mother, the Blessed Virgin Mary of Mount Carmel, in order that through the intercession of the same Blessed Mother, they may be defended from the evil one and may persevere in your grace until death, who lives and reigns, forever and ever. Amen. After the celebration of the Mass, uh, may we request everyone to line up properly so that you could receive the scapulars. I will uh, recite the formula of imposition once now. And because of health restrictions, we cannot impose individually to you the scapulars. So I will recite the formula of imposition and we will be giving you the scapulars and you will impose it on yourself after the Mass. My dear brothers and sisters, receive these blessed scapulars and pray to the Most Holy Virgin Mary that by her merits you may wear them without stain 
and that she may guard you from all adversity and bring you unto everlasting life. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.